So, I hate Epic. It's pretty evident at this point in time. Epic Launcher is meh. I don't think anybody loves it, but you use it because you want some of those Epic Games exclusives or just to get some free Epic Games as they give out, I think, two a week. Just a ridiculous amount. So I've gotten on there, redeemed a couple of those. And, uh, well, what if we could just get all those games and just use whatever and launch them directly without even pulling up the Epic Games Launcher? Well... Luckily, GitHub to the rescue again. This is an open source project called Legendary by a brilliant developer called Darad. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but we're going to jump into this project. This works on both Windows and Linux. So this is great for Windows and Linux people as we can just launch right into those games we want. I'm going to be showing the Linux portion of this. Just know the Windows portion very similar. You could create batch files and that, uh, those types of shortcuts, very basic, uh, but so fantastic that we don't actually have to launch into a launcher just to launch our games. It, it's terrible that this is the bar we've set in 2020 when it comes to launching a game, everything goes through a launcher. I remember the good old days, but yeah, that's another video. Let's get into the actual desktop and launch some epic games uh, directly. So this is the GitHub page where we'll get all the good stuff. The releases is what you want over here. You can easily download the executable for you Windows folks or for Linux. Uh, you can either download it here or if you're on Arch, you can just install it through the AUR. Everything's just right there, easily done. But this is a standalone binary, meaning you can easily run it no matter what. There's not a whole bunch of stuff to install or anything like that. It just works, which is great. So with Legendary installed, it's pretty simple. You just type legendary and then you can do list games or the very first thing you should do is type auth. And when you do this, it'll actually go through. It'll test to see if the stored credentials are valid. If they're not, it'll open up a browser. You log in and it'll ask for a number that's in your browser. Once you've actually logged into Epic, you just copy and paste that number directly into your terminal or command line. Uh, so from there, uh, you have that done. You then can do legendary list games. This will actually pull in all the games you've owned. Or a lot of times what I do is when there's a good free game on Epic, if you actually go through their website, you can actually buy the games directly on the website or buy, I say, you actually are just claiming free games. And then it shows up in your available games list, which is great. So then from there, you just type legendary and then just do a install. And then you would need to pick the actual app name. So if I wanted to install Darksiders, and then Darksiders 2 is Hokey. Um, Dauntless would be Jackal. Fortnite, well, a real original name here, Fortnite. But those are what the actual name of the game is. So you can actually launch directly into this. Just type in Hacky, and that'll go ahead and launch the game. Or install the game, I should say. So with this installed, we could then launch the game by just doing legendary launch and then the actual game name right there. That should launch into the actual game. Now, I'm not going to actually play yet because, well, all we're doing is just kind of setting it up. I wanted you to understand the syntax that we're dealing with. So that's how you list games, install games, authenticate, and also, you know, just just play them. So it, it's a fantastic way of doing it, but a lot of people don't want to launch in the command line each time. So in Linux, obviously, we're going to use Lutris because Lutris is fantastic. So let's pull up Lutris. Okay, so let's say we wanted to install this game after you've uh, downloaded it and installed it. You've launched it just to make sure it works from the command line. We'll, we'll go ahead and just hit plus sign, add game. And this is where it gets a little tricky. For the runner, we're going to just say Linux. For the name, we're going to just call this one Darksiders. Game options, this is where you pick the executable. So for the executable, you need to go to the root, user, bin, and then go to legendary right here. We'll hit OK. Now we need to create the argument. So just like we would do in our terminal, we would do our arguments here. So we do launch. And if we're unsure, flip back here. And we would do hacky, so H-A-K-E. So we'll go ahead and come back. And that's pretty much done. And runner options, system options. 
anything that you want to add into here, you can uh, change them around, but that should get us going. Let's add that. You notice uh, Lutra's automatically filled in all the artwork and everything. So now we can just simply hit play and it'll actually launch in the game without doing terminal. So let's see what we get. We'll just go ahead and hit continue so we don't have to go through the intro sequence. And as you see, it plays pretty darn good. For Epic Games, a lot of times it's the launcher that gives you the most problems. And we really don't have that issue now. This game's kind of freaky. I've actually never played Darksiders. I probably should get into it a little bit more. But I'm not going to make you guys cringe too much. I just kind of want to show this. It works really, really clean. But this is a rather old game, and uh, other games do work, just not online games. So when it comes to this launcher, there's a couple things I did leave out of this video, and those are, one, easy anti-cheat games don't work. So even though you could launch into like Fortnite or Dauntless or a lot of the online competitive games, they don't work because the easy anti-cheat system doesn't work properly with Wine. Uh, at least not yet. They're still working on it. It's a bit of a cat and mouse game with that. Uh, I don't know if that'll ever get you know, uh, sort it out. I'm sure eventually it will. It seems like they're getting very close, but I've been saying that for a year. So take it with a grain of salt, just like Wayland's probably never going to be a good display render. And I'm going to use Xorg forever. Anywho, that is today's video. Go try this project out, uh, show him some love. I think he has a little donate link on his GitHub by all means donate to this project because it's fantastic. I love the fact that now I can hate on Epic, but I at least I don't have to use their launcher and I can get some free games and launch directly into them as long as they're not online competitive games with easy anti-cheat. So fantastic. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And as always, thank you to all of my members. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.